Hello, I'm Catherine with The Fasting Flamingo. I'm going to be super upfront with you. I'm not a clinician, a nutritionist, um, a health coach, a scientist, or a celebrity fitness trainer. But I am someone that through intermittent fasting has successfully lost 35 pounds, reversed 30 plus years of severe asthma, significantly improved both my allergies and my anxiety. And what I really am is a a nerd who wants to help you learn all about and master intermittent fasting so that you can experience the powerful benefits firsthand too. I'm actually a really big nerd to be more precise. Let me give you four examples to illustrate this. One, I own and regularly use nine separate library cards. Two, I majored in physics and minored in math. Three, I worked as a Lean Six Sigma Black Belt internal consultant. This is a Six Sigma Wheel of Domination. Ah! 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 Now I am the sensei. And if you don't know what that is, it is as nerdy as you are imagining, but much, much nerdier. And four, I got my master's degree from Cornell University in business administration. Cornell is a good school, and I want to better myself through higher education. If it makes Andy angry, so be it. And let me tell you, before I graduated, I had a plan. I had my whole life figured out. I was going to move back home to Boston with my boyfriend and work in operational excellence and strategy for this amazing sustainable energy company. Well, suffice it to say, life happened. And in the span of what felt like a week, I found myself graduating without a job being $100,000 in debt, and I was dumped. Not exactly the original plan, due in part to all the stress in my life, and in part to a book that I do not recommend, given to me by, I kid you not, a top nutritionist, I started gaining weight fast. The book stated that if you eat whatever you want, cookies, ice cream, muffins, whatever, without restriction, you soon will find your body naturally craving healthy foods like broccoli and spinach. Let me just tell you, at that time in my life, when given the freedom, my body never craved anything that wasn't coffee cake muffins or ice cream. And I put on fat, particularly on my tummy, fast. Who am I kidding? I ate nothing but muffins and ice cream for six weeks. I blew up like a tick. And instead of the life I so carefully planned, I found myself moving across the country and working in a totally new to me industry, healthcare. After a promotion and another move across the country, I found myself working in kidney dialysis and supporting patients that were in full blown kidney failure with a tough, tough quality of life. And on average, five years, just five years left to live. Lean Six Sigma nerds like me have a cardinal rule we live by. Root cause. Get to the root cause of a problem to solve it. Acute healthcare, like if you show up in the ER with a gunshot wound, is great at getting to and addressing the root cause. They get the bullet out, they stitch you up, and they send you on your way. But in chronic disease healthcare, like obesity, type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, asthma, etc. Well, it looks much more like a game of whack-a-mole with patient symptoms rather than any type of root cause mitigation. Does this sound familiar? Maybe it's a conversation you've had with your doctor? We'll put you on this medication. Oh, it caused weight gain? Mm, try to exercise more and just eat cleaner. You have a rash from it too? Well, I can prescribe a steroid that might help. That didn't work? Maybe you have an infection. Let's try this antibiotic. Now, oh, now you have diarrhea? Well, there's another medication we can put you on for that. And the process continues. Chronic or non-communicable diseases now make up seven of the top 10 causes of death. Seven, up from four out of 10 in just the year 2000. According, this is all from the World Health Organization in its 2019 Global Estimates Report. I told you, I'm a nerd. Not only did I see this professionally, but personally. I had always struggled with my weight, 
I'd had severe asthma since the age of two, and I've struggled with anxiety and was prone to infections and pneumonia. And I also have a family history of type two diabetes, obesity, heart disease, all the, all the good stuff, kidney failure, all of it. And because I had grown up with all of it, I never stopped to think, what is the root cause? But when I found myself working in healthcare and trying to get to the root cause for patients in an effort to better serve them, it led me down a 10 year journey to get to the root cause of my own illness and weight gain. Bottom line, my current root cause hypothesis is this. We do not understand how to properly care for our bodies. In particular, we eat too frequently and the standard American diet high in processed food and sugar is causing much of the chronic disease that has become so prevalent in the last 50 years. To make matters worse, millions of us are completely addicted to these foods and largely unaware of it since for so many of us, the addiction began in childhood. Now, I have to confess, when I first heard about intermittent fasting, I thought, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It doesn't matter when you eat, it only matters what you eat and how many calories, right? Well, in wanting to prove that I was right, arguably a disease in and of itself, I started digging into the hard science and studies on fasting. And oh, how wrong I was. Fasting, thanks to the work of some truly brilliant scientists and clinicians, is finally beginning to get the attention it deserves. I have a whole video just on the benefits of fasting, but to briefly summarize, I will quote Mark Mattson, professor of neuroscience at Johns Hopkins University and a leading researcher. Intermittent fasting slows aging, reduces inflammation, improves glucose regulation, lowers blood pressure, facilitates fat loss, and may reduce the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and cancers. Despite knowing these amazing benefits of fasting, I struggled to consistently fast. So in March of 2020, I started a little meetup group to see if anyone else out there was fasting and wanted to support each other living this as a lifestyle. Our tiny community grew to over 5,000 members in 50 cities on Meetup. And it was during these early days of this group that I finally had the knowledge, support, and community that I needed to put it into action in my own body. Through a mix of intermittent, alternate day, and extended fasting, I dropped 35 pounds, improved so many of my lab values, and found myself no longer needing medications like albuterol, singular, and antihistamines that I had taken twice daily for decades. During our time on Meetup, it became clear that there was a strong interest in the results that fasting brings and a desperate need for quality information, motivation, support, and frankly, kindness. This led to the beginning of our paid membership community, the Fasting Flamingo, which exists to help support people who are serious about wanting to get the benefits fasting has to offer. Fasting improves and in many cases can even reverse so many of the chronic conditions that are top 10 killers. It allows us to feel amazing while healing our bodies, minds, and spirits. It reduces our natural tendency towards overconsumption, and it allows us to be better stewards of our planet. I personally can't think of anything better. The number one question I get asked by people interested in starting intermittent fasting is, how long should I fast? Naturally, this is not a one-size-fits-all question. It depends on where you're starting from and where you're hoping to go. So to provide you with a better answer than it depends, try the free survey below to get a tailored answer to this question just for you. Plus, as my gift to you, you will get a detailed fasting protocol report with recommendations specifically for you. Thank you for watching this, and until next time, Happy fasting.